everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you how can you generate your AI response in a JSON format so whenever we are asking some question we are getting something in the form of a paragraph or in the form of few sentences now when I want to utilize the result of my AI model then I don't want the entire paragraph I'm interested only in some chunk or a particular kind of information so what kind of information I'm looking for that I'm defining in my JSON format so that whenever I'm executing my query against the AI model, then I will get only the required data. It means that I need not to do any sort of parsing on my own. So let's quickly jump into the code and see how we can achieve this. And the use case which I'm taking today is like uh, I will ask a question about some animals and then we'll try to extract certain properties of those animals so this is what we are going to try out today and the next thing is here I'm going to use again the open source model which is llama 3.2 and we will be doing it through olama so if you want to get started the very first thing you need to do is you need to install olama on your machine i can quickly point you to that url so you can go to browser and search for download olama and it will provide you with the link so whether you are on windows mac or linux accordingly you can go ahead and download this particular model and once this is downloaded you need to get an install of course and then you need to decide upon which model do you want to work with so here you can find the list of all the models I'm going particularly with Llama 3.2 but you can choose any model of your choice. So once you have done these steps what you can do next is you need to go ahead and pull Llama onto your local machine so that you can use it. So for pulling the Llama what you can do is you can execute the command Llama pull and here goes your model name so in my case my model name is 32 so this is what I need to pull in and click on enter so I have already downloaded it so it would be pretty fast for me uh, like you can see we got the success message it means we have it in our machine now if you want to verify whether it's actually downloaded or installed successfully how you can do that so for that you can do olama list and it will tell you which version have you downloaded or what all models are present on your machine so till here we just did the setup next thing is we need to go ahead and pull in the required packages so the very first thing we need is the olama and the second package we need is spidentic because spidentic is the one who is going to help us with the formatting part so whether we are asking uh, based on some classes or some other structure all these things are handled using the pyrantic so now let's go ahead and write few lines of code so trust me this code is not going to be difficult or a very lengthy one but it's very straightforward so i'm going to pull in few packages the first one is for olama chat then we need the one for pyrantic so i'm going to say from pyrantic import base model so if you are not sure like what is base model these things I have already covered in my previous videos so of course you can go back and check out my videos next thing is we need to define the structure of our data what kind of JSON information you are looking for so for that we can go ahead and define our own class so like I said we are interested mainly in the animal related information so I'm going to create a class animal info which is going to take base model and then we will provide all the properties or the data which we are looking for. So the first thing I'm looking for is the animal name which is of type string. Then we are also looking for height. So let's make it again as integer and we can also go ahead and get either description or some specific features so i would rather say notable features so notable feature and it would be string so this is our class or the properties which we are looking for whenever open ai or any chat model so in my case it is llama 
So whatever the model you are using, it will give you the response in this particular format. Now, in my particular scenario, I want the list uh, of uh, these information. So I'm not asking about just one animal. I want to know about multiple animals. Let's say two, three, five, ten. So in that case, of course, we will have multiple animal names, multiple highs, multiple notable features. So of course, we cannot go with this particular class. Rather, we need to come up with a new class which will store the list or the collection of our base class. So how can you how can we do that? So this is again a one important thing because in my earlier videos I spoke only about a single class and lot many people are a bit skeptical how we can generate a collection out of our class. So this is the best example you can utilize it. So again this class is going to take base model and inside this I am going to create a collection. And uh, let's call it a list of type animal info, which is our this particular class. So we are good to go with this particular infra thing. Next thing is we need to do setup for our LLM. So for that, I'm going to create an object named response, which is going to hold the output. And here, Olama provides a function called chat which is going to take all these parameters. So then let's go ahead and define our first parameter, which is model. And like I said, in my case, it is llama32. So let's provide here. Then next thing here, you can see so there are a lot many parameters, but you can see what you need for your use case. I'm going with the bare minimum one. The next thing is messages in which we used to define the role. So the first role here would be the user role and I think this is the only role we need for our use case so I'm going to define it as user role then let's define content so content is nothing but the user query or the query which user wants to ask so I'm going to say tell me about let's go with two two tallest animals so of course if you are going to ask this question uh, with AI model, it is going to give you a whole paragraph or at least two to three sentences. But let's see what happens in our this case. And then we need to define the format. What kind of format are you looking for? So I'm lo interested in the format which is defined by me. So with so in our case, it is animals list. And then you say model underscore JSON schema. So it is going to consider this JSON schema. And then the last thing is about the properties if you want to set any so there are a lot many like penalty parameters top k top p so i'm just going with the temperature here and let's set it to 0 0.1 so we will get a deterministic results rather than getting random results every time so i will quickly execute this and see what happens So, okay, meanwhile it is executing, okay, it's done. Let me go ahead and show you the response now. So I would say animals response equal to animals list dot model validate, let me type it, model validate JSON. And here we will be reading the response object which is holding the output of our AI model and this is the content let's go ahead and print animals response so we are good with this let me execute this and show you so here you can see that we asked the question tell me about two tallest animals and here it is saying the first animal is giraffe which is having a height of 18 so it didn't mention anything about inch or all but if you if you want you can definitely add it into your class itself then the notable feature is long neck the second animal we have is elephant of height 13 and the notable feature is large ears and tusks so this is how it is giving you the output so rather than you are parsing your output or the ai models output this simple class using pydentic will do that magic for you and if you want to know like uh, what is the JSON format or the schema? I can quickly show you that as well. 
so let's copy this and get this printed over here and here you can see a nice JSON schema in which it is saying that uh, animal info under animal info we have certain properties like three properties which we are expecting so the first property uh, in our case would be the animal name and the title would be this and this it is of type string then we have height as per our class which is the title would be this and the type is integer then the third property you can match it with the class which you have defined over here so the third one is notable feature and here you can see the notable feature and the title is same it just changed the case little bit to make it more readable and the type is string so all these are by default required so that's the reason uh, you if you want you can just explain or define more properties based on your use cases even you can go with the nested classes like i said so it would be very easy for you to cast your custom objects and use the llm response so you will get the response based on your custom objects only so this is a very classic example and here you can see just with one line it is giving you a beautiful parsed data I hope you enjoyed watching this and do let me know what all other use cases you are looking for. Thanks for watching.